All right, hello everyone and welcome back to our Tech Tips blog and YouTube channel. Today I have a special guest, Austin Glob. Welcome. Hello. Austin teaches at Northside Middle School. He's an eighth grade social studies teacher and teaches United States history from the beginning of US history through reconstruction. So that's pretty exciting. As a former history teacher myself, it's nice to have a social studies person on the show. Austin, what are you planning on showing us today? I'm going to be talking about Pear Deck today, which is a really cool little add-on for Google Slides. Awesome, awesome. Would you like to show us how to use Pear Deck? Sure, I'm gonna go ahead and present my screen. Awesome. So this is just a PowerPoint a slideshow that I've used in class and Pear Deck is an add-on for Google Slides. So you get to it by going to your add-ons and then um, just getting add-ons to find it, searching Pear Deck. And then I just go over here to Pear Deck and then open the Pear Deck add-on. And what it allows you to do is to make a Google Slides presentation more interactive. So there's all kinds of different activities and questions you can add in here. Um, there are two ways to present it, either a instructor paste, which is probably better for in the classroom. And then there's a student paste where students work through the lesson at their own pace. So what I'll do is I will have my slides and then I will, every time I wanna ask a question, I'll come over and um, choose one of these types of questions that I want students to respond to. And the really cool thing is that there's lots of different ways that students can respond, like they can do a text response or multiple choice or drawing and then all kinds of other things you can add in there. So um, I'll just add a question whenever I want to. And then once I am ready, I click that start lesson and I'll choose student paste and that will give me a link that I can post on my It's Learning page. And then I can open this dashboard and can kind of see how students are progressing through the lesson. I can see um, which students are on which slides. So you can see there's a few students that are on these slides right now. Oh, that's awesome. Those, those, yes, it's really cool to kind of see how students are progressing kind of where they are. And then as they submit some responses, I can see in one place all of their responses. If we were in class, I could project these on my screen and I could hide names if I wanted to. So the responses were anonymous, but it's really easy for me to scroll through here and see their responses. If it's a multiple choice question, it gives you a nice little feedback like that with a graph to see what different answers students are choosing. Um, so the way I usually will use this is I'll pair it with a Screencastify video. So I'll have a video of me actually going through these slides and kind of explaining like I would in class and then ask students to pause the video and respond to the questions in Pear Deck when appropriate. That's fantastic. I love that you share that you are doing both of those different ways of presenting it. So you have the link there for students to go through it, but then you're also, you have your video component there where you're saying the presentation, you're going through it, like they're still getting that classroom experience they would typically have. Right, and it's it's good students enjoy having that experience, but then also being able to actually respond just like they normally would in class. Yeah, yeah. I love that um, there's the offline mode as well with Pear Deck. When I have used Pear Deck before, when I was in the classroom, I always thought of it as just like a live in the moment type of thing. And obviously that's not the case right now. So it's awesome that you're doing that. It's a great option for engagement for our students. And then from the UDL connections too, the different types of questions you have in there as well. There's mm -hmm. choices for students to go through and respond to it in different ways. Yeah, definitely. Love that. Love that. And did you come up with a bunch of those questions or was there a library of question types? So there's the library of different question types. The questions are my own. So like if I just type a question on, have the question actually on the slide and then click the add question, it populates with a way for them to respond. Cool. Awesome. So you don't have to do tons of the thinking on your own. There's some resources there to get you started if you're fairly right. to using the tool, which I like. Right. And I also like how there's a little, every lesson starts with a check-in, so students will click on a smiley face to show how they're feeling. And that's helpful just to get a quick indication of how everybody's feeling and kind of how people's emotions are, especially kind of with everything we're dealing with right now. Yeah, yeah, and it's good that it automatically puts that into the lesson, because I think sometimes we get so caught up in 
designing the content piece, especially with e-learning, is it so different that maybe we forget that little important piece or it's just something that we don't think of right away. Right. It's really important to have that it information. Is. It is. That is so awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, there's going to be a written guide included with this tutorial um, that has even more examples and ideas. And Austin's been using this tool in an awesome way. Um, it's, it's a fantastic tool. And right now we do have premium access to it through a special discount through BCSC. So if you use your BCSC school email, your Google account, you will get access to that and all the advanced reporting features. Um, and the Google Slides add-on, like what Austin was showing, is really the best way to go, especially if you're using Google Slides already. It's pretty easy and streamlined for your students to use. And we know it's compatible across different tech tools that our students are using too. So thank you so much again, Austin, for taking the time and joining in on this. We appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thanks.